a lot of our research on disasters happens um, is done through case studies of particular disasters. So what we um, what we have learned from that is that even when you, when a disaster happens in the same locality, some people suffer more and some people suffer less. For example. Um, Hurricane Katrina, which um, hit the U.S. in 2005, uh, provided a lot of um, research on how people have been impacted by disasters. And the general consensus is that those who are poor and marginalized, primarily communities of color in the U.S., um, tended to suffer more during disasters than the relatively well-off communities. And this was across the board. So. People who were poorer tended to have, um, were less likely to have first aid kits. They were less likely to stock up on emergency food supplies, own a fire extinguisher, have an evacuation plan, or crucially, have insurance. insurance. Um, they were also less likely to receive official warnings, uh, and they were less likely to believe and follow them during the actual disaster when the hurricane hit. People in poorer communities suffered more injury, death and damage. And that is because they tended to live in older, more densely populated uh, communities. They lived in more disaster prone neighborhoods and they lived in neighborhoods with low standards of housing and inadequate services. Also, they were less likely to have private transportation um, an adequate amount of cash and alternative places to stay, which meant evacuation was more difficult for them. Um, and also, after the hurricane, a lot of the government assistance went to uh, homeowners rather than renters, and it tended to favor middle people from the uh, middle income um, rather than the, you know, very poor. So. In terms of recovery, um, the poor and marginalized, and especially single mothers, um, basically it took them longer to recover if uh, they actually did.